Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I set up both my artwork and my printer settings in order to get high quality, high density film positives. All right, the first thing to know when printing your artwork is that you want the best artwork possible. So this is just a quick little mini example of the difference between vector artwork and pixelated or raster artwork. So when you're zoomed out, it might look fine. This looks like it just would print okay. Um, when you really zoom in, you can see the difference here. This vector artwork is made up of lines and points, and this raster artwork is made up of pixels. It's especially noticeable if you want to scale this up to be bigger. So say you scale this to be the full size of your sheet, well, you can see that these edges aren't very clear or crisp. But if you scale this one, the vector artwork up, you can go any size you want and those edges will stay really clear and really crisp. An SVG file or PDF or any kind of vector artwork that's going to give you the best film positive possible. All right, the next thing to know is that you want your artwork set up as 100% black. So I'm in Illustrator right now, and I have my document color mode set to CMYK. So I just want to make sure that all of this artwork is 100% black. I don't want it to have any cyan, magenta, or yellow in it. You can also have it set up as 100 in all of these, but when you go to print, you're gonna print in grayscale anyways, so that'll just give you 100% black anyways. What you don't want is a mix of values like this, where when it goes to print in grayscale, this would give you a percentage of black rather than 100% black. So you just want your artwork to be all black. All right, so next are print settings. So I'm going to go to File Print and I have a Canon PIXMA IX6800. So this is my Illustrator print dialog box. Depending on what program you're printing out of and what printer you have, your dialog box will look different, but these general options should still be available to you. This is going to be specific setup for the Canon um, and testing I've done with that printer. So you'll have to figure out your best settings for your printer to get your highest ink density. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to Setup and Preferences. So these are going to be my default settings that are in here right now. So I like to just go to Main. And I have gone through all of these paper settings and tested all of them. And the best one for my Canon PIXMA is the Pro Platinum media type option and the reason that's going to be the best is because it's the only photo paper option available where I can go into custom print quality and set this to one which is the highest that it goes. All of my other print uh, photo papers are going to be only at a three or a two so that is why I choose the Pro Platinum. All right and then I'm going to choose grayscale printing and adjust my color and intensity. So I'm going to do that manually. I'm going to go to brightness, dark, and then I'm going to increase my intensity and my contrast all the way as high as they will go. So these, both these numbers will be 50. And you can see the image right here change as I do that. All right. So that's all the settings I'm going to change. So under my main tab, I'm changing my media type, my print quality, my color and intensity, and printing in grayscale. Now when I go back here, that should all have updated automatically. And then you can save your setting. So next time you can just come in here and select that and you'll be good to go. The next thing I want to do is mirror my artwork. Again, in all print dialog boxes, this might be found in a different place, but you should be able to do it right in your print 
settings versus having to do it in your artwork. So in Illustrator, the where that is, is in Output. And then I'm just going to change my emulsion to down, and you can see my artwork is now mirror. All right, and then I'm just going to print. So now when you hold it up to the light, it should be nice and dark and dense, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't look blotchy, and you shouldn't be able to see through any of the artwork. So next I am going to show you a density test I did where I just chose the two different media options and printed them both out and then did a density reading on them to prove that the settings that I chose actually did work. All right guys, here is an example of how your printer settings make a difference. So these two examples were printed with the exact same printer, the exact same settings. The only difference is this one was printed with my set, my photo paper selected at matte, photo paper and the quality high. And this one was, I used the uh, paper setting photo paper pro platinum with the quality set to one. So you can see on here, it kind of looks splotchy when you hold it up to the light and you can see through it. And when you go over here with this other paper setting, and it uses more ink, of course, but let's see, it's kind of hard to, it's much more dense and you can't see any of that kind of like splotchy-ness. So both of these were printed. Um, I did two tests. This one where my art was set up as 100% black and this was 100% CMYK um, and same for this. And then, but I printed in with a grayscale setting and that didn't seem to make much of a difference. So I'm going to take these up to our densitometer and do some density readings. All right, so here's how we're gonna read our density. I'm gonna zero out at nothing. And then I'm going to take my film and I'll zero out the film. And now I will read my densities. And the 100% black is 1.39. All right, and now I'll do the same thing on the photo paper pro platinum sheet. So that's 1.63. So as you can see what the results are that the matte photo paper had a reading of 1.39 and the pro platinum had a reading of 1.62. High quality artwork and a high density film positive are both very important for faster washout and also for holding those fine details when making your icon art stencils. Figuring out what print settings will give you the best film positive is a very important step in the process when making icon art stencils. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.